What up? What up, beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're about to go over post patch defense in NCAA 25. A new patch just released. We're gonna jump into practice mode and see what changes was actually made. If you are enjoying the channel so far, hit that like button. If you are new, hit that red subscribe button. Also, down in the link in the description, I will be streaming later today on Twitch. So, come by, drop a follow. Appreciate all y'all. Let's get into today's breakdown. All right, so it says in today's patch, they address the issue with the curl flats, okay? Now, this is something that they already addressed in Madden, so we're going to go over it. We're going to start off in our coach adjustments. We're going to have five-yard curl flats. They should be more aggressive. We're going to have 25-yard blues. This is a change that you can make on the fly. 25 and 5, okay? We're going to test it out. We're going to come out, cover four palms, and then we're going to come out into a trips. You know everybody likes to run trips, so we're just going to come out in trips. We're going to have that corner out on the field. Okay, so with the zone drops, we're going to go here, back that cornerback up, and then we're going to drop him into our 25. Now, this guy is supposed to be five yards. He's in the quarter flat, seam flat. They're going to play the seams first and drop down. Okay, this guy is in the quarter flat. He should be aggressive if you move him out. Now, you don't want them to throw a quick pass as soon as they hike the ball so that's the reason why i like to show blitz or move people around so we have five on each side bracketing and then we have a 25 yard blue on the outside so if i stand right here with my user he's gonna hike the ball i'm gonna chase a vertical route down the field and then peel back okay and we get a coverage sack now let's look at post patch breakdown what happened on this play remember we have five five and 25 adjustments so i run with the vertical row anything that breaks underneath is my responsibility so i'm looking on my peripheral once he passes that zone if he throws it right there it'll be a pick now it was an opening once my user moved he could throw a bullet pass right there and hopefully make a catch but the zones are working like they are supposed to okay so let's do it again i like to move him out i don't want him getting bumped I'm going to move him down, move him down, and then put a cloud over there. It's real easy. YY triangle triangle, push square, put cloud, uh, hard flat, or soft squat. Hard flats is the best blue zone, so if that's something that you didn't know, now you know. Okay, so we're going to come right here. We have our 5-yard purples. We have our 25-yard blues. Now, the hard flat is going to drop by super, super aggressive, so that's good. So we're going to watch a vertical route. This is how you use her. Watch a vertical route come down to help he throws it right there he gets the completion but that's only a two to three yard pass instead of your guy being way back and giving them room to juke so now if it's something that you really want to take away from this break you see how he's coming in first and then going out to change that all you have to do is put him into a curl okay so if we do the same thing again put this guy hard flat move him out and then you can put him into a curl flat instead of the quarter. Okay? Move these guys down. Ain't nobody going to quick hike you. You have time. So we have a quarter flat, five yards over here. Help with the seams and then play aggressive. Now over here, he's going to be real aggressive and not worry about the seams. So let's see the difference. Okay? Put him into a curl flat. And if you want to do that on quick adjustments, push D-pad two times to the right. Go to X and then curl flat. Left stick to the right. There's your curl flat. Now we're going to do the same type of user, strafe, 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 run down, and boom. Cover sec, fumble, a chance for a scoop and score. So let's see that breakdown. Why was he not able to hit that running back this time? Last time he had room to throw it. This time, a curl flat, he's straight to the running back. He's not wasting time going up a step toward the tight end. He's playing a real five-yard aggressive route. Okay, now this guy over here is on the quarter flat. This is the trip side, so you have to be weary of a streak or anything like that. So I would leave the quarter flat. Otherwise, this guy will come out wide as soon as you hike the ball way out to the numbers. Okay, so there we go. Perfect. 
That's how we want. Let's do it again. So we're going to go boom, blue, bring them down, bring them down, D pad two times, curl, bring them out here. Okay. Now we all set up. You can guess pass on passing situations. We're going to come down here. User, 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 break. Boom. Another covered sack. So post patch, everything is working like it said that it would be in the notes. The five yard, put him into a curl. He's aggressive. He's going five. Make sure that you don't have seam flats on the field. Make sure that you don't have quarter flats. Don't shade up or shade down. You have to manually change that to a quarter flat. Now, if you want both sides to be super aggressive, then you can do the shading up. That will turn them into curl flats, but you won't have help on the trip side with the seams. So as you can see, it is playing out perfectly.